company that now owns the world-famous Wedgwood Pottery brand has called in the administrators. The 250-year-old firm collapsed after banks pulled out of a financing deal. Now more than 2,500 jobs are hanging in the balance. As our business editor Robert Peston reports, it's yet another sign of the decline in British manufacturing. Wedgwood has been a flower of British industry for more than 200 years, both a contributor to our 19th century industrial greatness and an adornment to millions of kitchens and dining rooms. But today the company went into administration under UK insolvency procedures as its Irish owner, Waterford Wedgwood, called in the receiver. The receiver believes that it may be possible to sell the business as a going concern, which would be... Uh, very good for, for everyone, but you know, there is uh, a certain question mark when the receiver comes in. Uh, that's why we were trying to avoid this day, um, but it's very much up to the receiver now. In Wedgwood's Stoke-on-Trent home, it's been a shattering blow. I mean, that was a good blow, and I mean, what is left in the property industry? Very little now. It's a great, great shame because Wedgwood is the Patras. Waterford Wedgwood, which also makes famous crystal under Ireland's proud Waterford brand, has been laid low by its big debts of £380 million and a worldwide slowdown in consumer spending. Here he is, Josiah Wedgwood, the 18th century founder of the world-renowned crockery maker and the father of the Industrial Revolution. Would it matter if Waterford and Wedgwood were incinerated in an economic furnace? Surely they're about our industrial past, not the future. After all, at its historic British home in the Potteries, Wedgwood employs just 600 in production, which is a fraction of the company's 1,500 manufacturing staff in Indonesia. But the UK can ill afford to lose too many Wedgwoods capable of generating valuable export earnings because once we're through what looks like a very painful recession we're going to need to pay our way in the world. The British economy should be like a good company. It should be broadly based and well balanced. So it should have a substantial manufacturing component. Because remember the things that genuinely create wealth are things you grow, things you dig up out of the ground, or materials that you transform through manufacturing. There'll be tears on the high street in the next couple of days as our biggest store groups, M&S, Next and Debenhams, disclose falling sales. But for our economic future, we should perhaps be more concerned about that endangered breed of British suppliers to our retailers, such as the slightly cracked and chipped Waterford Wedgwood. Robert Preston, BBC News. Sir Alan Walters, the former economics advisor to Margaret Thatcher, has died at the age of 82. His controversial role in her government led to the resignation of Nigel Lawson. Sir Alan was today described as the finest of friends by Baroness 